Hi you guys and welcome back to the channel. It's Regina here and today's video is a clean with me marathon. I am giving you an hour and 45 minutes of cleaning motivation. You can sit back, relax, and enjoy the video or you can get up and clean with me. I hope you like me and this video enough to hit that subscribe button down below. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and check out other videos on my channel for more cleaning motivation. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's get right into cleaning. I'm going to start by decluttering and putting everything back in its place. I don't know if you guys can notice, but every time I move my tripod or move my phone, it does like this slight movement afterward. It's been happening like the last two videos that I filmed. I don't know what's going on with it. And it doesn't matter what I put the phone on. If I use my tripod, my ring light, or my small tripod, it still does that like slight movement. So I'm thinking it's the camera on the phone. So usually when I clean my kitchen, I declutter um, one area at a time and then wipe it down and move on to the next area. But today I decided to go ahead and declutter all of the countertops and the table and then go back and wipe it down, which makes more sense. I don't even know why I wasn't doing that before, but yeah. So the tall kid putting up the dishes is my 13 year old stepson. He is at the age where all he wants to wear is sweatshirts and sweatpants and Nike flip flops. Like I'm broken hearted But I feel it's real 
from spraying down my countertops and my table with the Lysol Kitchen Pro. And my husband says hello. It's funny how he just waved in the camera and when I first started filming these cleaning videos, he avoided the camera at all cause he hated me filming him or being in any of my videos. So now that everything is wiped down, it's just a matter of putting everything back. I'm not quite sure why we have three open loaves of bread. I think I rinsed that towel out about 40 times during this video. We're moving through the night like we're from a different star. Flying over streets and the broken hearts. But they can even touch us, we found a different beat. Paradise is waiting and we bought the leaves Ooh, getting caught in the midst of some men that never get out of They're feeding the fears and the doubts Ooh, but we're golden, we run to the end and we run without shame We own the game And we ride on the flames till the morning light Baby, cause we're There are some things that I don't put in my dishwasher, which is usually pots and pans. I hand wash those because they're so large.
So I'm using my awesome orange oxygen degreaser to wipe off the microwave and the stove. Y'all, I am so over having this microwave over the stove. It gets so greasy and nasty. I could not find my razor to clean my glass top, so I decided to use my Brillo pads. These are the pink ones I picked up at Dollar Tree. How did you stop loving me? How is that even possible? Possible. How could we let love go? How could we move on? Move on. Why you wanna let me go? Nah, nah, now. Are you saying that to change your mind? Well, love a pity, let me go. Nah, nah, now. Cause your love made me, made me go blind. Why are you playing? I don't know if you can read the label, but I am burning Mary Mimosa from Bath and Body Works. This candle smells so good. It reminds me of champagne toast, but a little more berry-ish, if that makes sense. My vacuum kept cutting off like there was something stuck in it so I was trying to get that out and every time I would put the attachment back on it kept cutting off again there was something lodged in the actual attachment I always end up having to unlodge something from the vacuum when the kids use it they try to vacuum up everything from socks to money change small toys like whatever that's on the floor they try to vacuum it up And this is the final result. Of course, Christian decides he wants to sell cups of water for a dollar after I've cleaned up everything and make another mess. But that's my life. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. It is Rogina here and today we are doing an after dark clean with me. So today we are just doing a quick clean before bed. I'm also going to go through the kids toys and get rid of everything that's kind of broken and pieces of other toys that need to be thrown away. If you like what you see in this video go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Also turn on that notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a video. This video will not be a voiceover. I am struggling with a toothache right now and I just can't, I can't talk through the video. I'm so sorry you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm going to go take something for this toothache and I will see you in the next one.
Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. It is Ro here and of course today we are tackling laundry. Y'all know how much I hate laundry but it has to be done. If you are new here my name is Rogina and my channel is Life with Ro Nicole where I film a variety of cleaning videos, decor and lifestyle. If you like what you see go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Also turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a video. So I'm going to start by changing the linen on the bed. There is nothing like sleeping on fresh, clean sheets. Let me know down in the comments section how you guys store your sheets. I tend to store mine in one of the pillowcases from the set. So whenever it is time to change the sheets, I just grab the whole thing and everything that I need is inside the pillowcase. 
This method has made life so much easier so you're not looking for a pillowcase here, a flat sheet there. Everything is already together and you can just pull it out and put it on the bed. The gray velvet blanket is actually a weighted blanket. I bought it at Aldi for $39.99. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this. It is a actual duvet, so the velvet cover is zipped and it has ties in the inside that ties the blanket. Take it off and put it on when it's time to wash. And also, it weighs about 12 pounds. And when I tell you, it feels like a bear hug. Oh my god, it's so comfortable when you sleep. Forever. I watch you as you sleep. You don't know I'm looking. With you, everything is complete. Do you know how much I love you? One to my favorite chore in the world, and that is putting up laundry and folding. No, it's not my favorite chore. I absolutely hate it, but it has to be done. So here we are. This is what happens when you do not fold and put up your clothes when they first come out of the dryer. Now this is two loads of clothes instead of one load of clothes.
So this was maybe three days later, and of course it was time to do laundry again. I usually wash Christian and Caleb's clothes on Wednesdays and wash my clothes on Thursdays. So that gives me Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to get everything folded and hung up and put away. I also tend to wash and dry a lot at night and in the morning. So if I wash clothes before bed, I tend to put them in the dryer before I go to work. Or if I wash a load before I go to work, when I get off, which is the case in this video, I put them in the dryer when I get off work. And I do have an older model washer and dryer. It still has the agitator in the middle, so it tends to wash and dry pretty quickly. Maybe a load. In Moving through the night like we're from a different star. Flying over streets and all broken hearts. But they can even touch us. We found a different beat. Paradise is waiting and we bought the lead. While those loads were washing and drying, I decided to go ahead and vacuum Christian's room. I tend to vacuum the upstairs at least twice a week because my kids have allergies, so I want to make sure it's not like really dusty. And can we take a minute to appreciate these vacuum lines, y'all? Like these vacuum lines are life. And that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Hi, you guys, and welcome back to Life with Rona Cole. Today, we are cleaning up this downstairs area. I'm sure your house looks similar to mine. Um, this quarantine has pretty much destroyed my house. I have not been able to keep up with the cleaning. And honestly, y'all, I'm not mad about it. Like, it's just one of those situations where I'm clean when I can and when I can't I don't my kids are at home so there's no point in trying to keep it super duper clean all the time their toys are everywhere they're playing they're eating breakfast and all that good stuff so I just been kind of trying to roll with the punches and just clean as I go if you are new here, welcome. My name is Regina. I film a variety of cleaning, lifestyle, DIYs, and core videos. I would love for you to join the family by hitting that subscribe button down below. So I'm starting in my living room. I needed to wash uh, the top pillows on my couch and also vacuum and just straighten up and pick up in there. Be scared of letting someone get close without the filters. But you see the real me. Since I let you in under my skin, I'm more free than I have ever been. You broke my chains and released me. And they turn in tonight on the couch in your apartment. No, I am not the same. Everything has changed. Every day. Seven, you call my name And 
couch really needs a good shampooing, honestly. Uh, we've had a shampoo once, but it is definitely time for another shampooing and also another treatment of Scotch Guard. I pretty much Scotch Guard everything in my house, even in my car. I spray all of my furniture because it is light and we do have children. So that helps to just make it um, very easy to clean and get the stains off. No, I am not the same. Everything has changed. Every day, 24 7, you call my name. And I will come. So, I have literally been going room by room cleaning all of the windows, and it's been so satisfying, y'all. I'm so glad I was able to actually get it done. That's one of those things I always forget to do. So, every time I clean a room, I have cleaned every windows you have seen it in all of my previous probably three videos i've cleaned the windows in each room yeah, every day, kids have been using this bouncer every single day um so i was trying to hurry up and put it in the garage before caleb saw it because as soon as he sees me with it he was gonna be like i want to jump 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 and i literally cut that thing on and he jumps for 10 seconds and he is out of there and he gets mad when you cut it off it's like you're not even jumping in it and you're wasting my electricity so i was trying to hurry up and put that thing away I was running out of window cleaner so I decided to mix some ammonia with water and a tiny bit of Dawn to create my own window cleaner and it actually worked really really well. If you don't like to use ammonia or you don't like the smell you can also use diluted vinegar and water. I'm all alone in my hotel room I'm getting drunk on booze from the mini bar I wonder what you're up to I shouldn't call you up, I know your number by heart I see you wherever I go And you don't even know You are the stranger in the corner on the second floor You're the girl next door Still, I dream of you. 
So I decided to move my couch um, in front of the window just to create a more open space so the kids can have more space to play. How I feel, I see you wherever I go, and you don't even know. You are the stranger in the corner on the second floor, you're the girl next door. I wish I could just call you up I'm alone in room 308 Yeah, are you awake? Wish I could call you I'm gonna call you You are the stranger in the corner on the set So initially I was um, only planning on moving this part of the couch just to vacuum the rug but as I started moving the couch I started noticing more and more trash underneath so I ended up moving the entire couch and cleaning under it and y'all it was so much stuff underneath this couch if you have a sectional you already know like so much stuff accumulates under these sectionals it's crazy Singing out loud to the choir Liar, 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 liar Baby, I'm tired Trying to put up my fire You didn't know I'm a liar And you're a liar, 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 babe Liar, 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 babe Liar, 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 liar The next house we get, we are going to definitely have to have a designated playroom because their stuff winds up everywhere, every room, kitchen, bathroom, dining room, living room, our room. Like, their stuff seems to be everywhere but in their own rooms. I'm a 
be broken down, but I'm smiling. I keep my head up high, though I fail. Sometimes I get a bit emotional, but then I turn around and let it go. I see you watching me from a distance. I see you can't decide what to feel. But if you dig a little deeper, boy, you know you really wanna get to know. daily wood cleaner on my wood table you've seen me use it in so many videos the microfiber cloth is from Dollar Tree and that is it you guys i hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you in the next one what am i hearing saying you're moving back when were you gonna tell me that Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. It is Rogina with Life with Ro Nicole. This video is a mini Aldi haul and a clean with me. If you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Also turn on that notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a video. Hey guys and welcome back so today i went to aldi and i spent a whopping 59 dollars 81 with tax it was 56.03 before i'm gonna give you a breakdown of my receipt I got this three pack of bell pepper. It was, let's see, 189. These protein wraps that I love to make wraps and things with. They were, I can't remember what anything cost. They were um, 2.99. I got unsweet applesauce. Because I saw a keto recipe for for blueberries. 
Caleb, are you on the phone? Huh? Are you on the phone? Hi. Okay. It had this big sack of lemons. It was $1.79. I always get almond milk from Aldi. It is $1.79. That's the cheapest I found. These strawberries were $3.79, I think. $3.49. $3.49 for the strawberries. Stevia, I always get there. And it was $2.99. I actually bought six of these, but Caleb already ate two of them. They're like usually $0.79. Cents. Oh, these actually have a lot of carbs in them. For this little tiny little pouch okay i also picked up a coffee Audi tends to have really good coffee coffee was 3.79 3.49 i always pick up these mixed nuts they are usually 4.99 heavy cream is usually really good price it was like 155 i'm doing a um a grocery haul eggs were an awesome price they were how much were eggs christian oh 52 cents and i also picked up a couple of blocks of cheese i like block cheese versus the already shredded cheese because it melts like a lot easier so this was one 69. They always have like a really good price on cheese. Picked up some bananas. My kids love bananas, y'all. It was 44 cents a pound. And then these little yogurt tubes. They love these. You want one? You want a banana? Those bananas are green. You have to wait a day or two so they ripen. They're too hard to eat. And that is it. Oh, I also picked up some cheese crackers, like the little Aldi brand. What, baby? Okay. Chris, can you open the door for Bentley? Yeah, Open the door for Bentley. Picked up some um, Cheez-Its, the Aldi brand Cheez-Its, and they were $1.49, but of course, Caleb opened those before we even left the store. So that. So now on to the cleaning. Today, I am tackling my master bathroom. Caleb's room and I am doing a little bit of laundry after work. I'm going to start by taking everything off the counters and spraying everything down first and then coming back and wiping it all up. I just feel like this gives the cleaner time to break everything down, all of the toothpaste, the makeup, and everything else. Of course, I'm using my Lysol. I have to use a good disinfectant in my bathrooms. Caleb has discovered Baby Shark, and I cannot tell you how tired I am of hearing this song, y'all. Oh my god, I don't understand how children can listen to something on repeat all day. I watch you and 
as you drive Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving life so much easier. to go ahead and disinfect some of Kato's bath toys.
So I started cleaning the toilet and realized I did not have my gloves on, so of course I went back and got those. Let me be honest, I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me. Let me be real here. When I see you, my heart starts racing, but I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. It's a shame that my hands start shaking. using my Dyson V8 to vacuum the floor and of course I'm finding every hair tie that I've used the entire week. There is something so satisfying about a clean bathroom y'all.
let my emotions flow. But for now, while Kayla was taking a bath, I decided to go ahead and pick up everything in his room that needs to be picked up. And once again, Caleb is playing with the ring light. I didn't even notice that light was going off and on until I started editing this video. I was just focused on getting done cleaning. But you're so serious She's trouble I trust you I hate you Cause you're probably right But I forget when she gives me that smile It's like I never felt so alive I'll give up the day that I die Any sooner is a waste of my is it you guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one hello lovelies and welcome back to life with ro nicole and today's video is an ultimate clean with me i hope everybody is staying safe and healthy i won't be talking through this video but there is some awesome music so you can jam and clean along with me if you are new here thank you so much for clicking on this video I hope you like it and me enough to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Also turn on that notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a video. If you are an oldie but a goodie, thank you so much. Welcome back. So I am going to shut up now and let you guys enjoy the music and the cleaning motivation. And I will see you in the next one. Dream. You can run, you can hide, but you can't put the blame on me. Because you're acting like a volcano Tending to be my savior Nothing you do can save us, save us Because you're acting like a volcano And make me feel outrageous You keep teasing me But you're nothing with a break Running fast, never look back Now we're over, that's a fact Phrasing light See it all bright, you will never ride Back to life, I apologize Too soon to say I'm fine Too soon to say I'm fine Oh I don't know what to say, what to do, how to make you see This is nothing in real life, it might just have been a bad dream You can run, you can hide, but you can't put the blame on Cause you're acting like a volcano Tending to be my savior Nothing you do can save us, save us Because you're acting like a volcano And make me feel outrageous You keep teasing me But you're nothing with a ring Like a volcano Tending to be my savior Nothing you do can save us Cause you're
I'm all alone in my hotel room I'm getting drunk on booze from the mini bar I wonder what you're up to I shouldn't call you up, I know your number by heart I see you wherever I go And you don't even know You are the stranger in the corner on the second floor You're the girl next door, the girl next door The stranger in the corner on the second floor You're the girl next door I know you're miles away from me but still I dream of you and say your name in my sleep Tell me isn't that crazy Just wanna call you up and tell you how I feel I see you wherever I go And you don't even know You are the stranger in the corner on the second floor You're the could just call you up I'm alone in room 308 Yeah, are you awake? Wish I could call you I'm gonna call you You are the stranger in the corner on the same I know, I know. 
best friends Do it again, do it again, do it again I trusted you once but I won't Talk to 
to me I kinda wanna understand what you mean When you say her and me We never ever should've played it this real Got me down under your thumb Just let me out, just let me have fun Memory, talk to me I kinda wanna understand what I feel I love her, I want her hey y'all and welcome back for another video it's ro here and today i am tackling my downstairs bathroom doing some mopping and also getting this kitchen together thank you guys so much for clicking on this video i hope you like it and me enough to hit that subscribe button down below also don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you are notified every time i upload a video so let's get right into it Alright y'all, so this is actually a continuation of the After Dark Clean With Me I posted a couple of days ago. This is probably um, two days after that. I need to clean this downstairs bathroom and I also need to mop um, the wood floors. So by now y'all already know what I do. I like saw everything down and then wipe, wipe, wipe. I decided to go ahead and clean these little shelves off. I don't think I've cleaned them since I put them up and that's been a few years. Oh, don't judge me y'all. But they were good and dusty. As you can see by the clothes, I am still one of those people who is going to work during this whole coronavirus outbreak. So I usually mop after Caleb has already gone to bed, but I wanted to go ahead and get done. So that's why it's so much mop water in front of that bucket. He was trying to play in the water. So whenever I mop my wood floors, I try to mop with the grain of the wood or the way the wood flooring is laying so it doesn't get all of those water spots and streaks. But I can't see if you're right here next to me. Something's wrong, wasn't it fun? Is it now we're done? You get dressed, I look a mess. And you tell me to confess. And you tell me to confess. Oh, I don't know what to say, what to do, how to make you see. This is nothing in real life, it might just have been a bad dream You can run, you can hide, but you can't put the blame on me Because you're acting like a volcano So all that stuff on my dining room table is my husband's. He just started a new business and he's been using my dining room as his office. I'm actually almost tempted to take the dining room table out of there and just turn it into an actual office. Never look back. Now we're over. That's a fact. Raising light. See it all bright. You will never ride. Back to life. I apologize. Too soon to say I'm fine. 
So y'all already know when you see these leggings and that t-shirt, it is the weekend. This was Saturday morning, which is when I usually have time to really clean my kitchen. I have been doing my absolute best to make sure I am lifestyling um, and wiping down the doorknobs and the light switches and all that good stuff. Also, don't forget to wipe down your remotes, your game controllers, your cell phones, the tablets, all of that good stuff. Every time I clean my kitchen, I'm always amazed at how much stuff accumulates in this kitchen that's not even supposed to be in here. And that is my soon to be seven year old. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe he's about to turn seven, y'all. <laughs> A soon to be seven year old Christian acting silly in the camera. In my mind, I'm the guy who never really said an easy goodbye. Always wait till it's too late. Just let it happen, leave it all up to fate. But there is I am actually using my Lifestyle Kitchen Pro to spray down the countertops, and I used it on my table as well.
my stove down with the awesome oxygen degreaser and I let it sit for a while I don't think I did that on camera but now I'm just taking my razor and scraping all of that grease off the stove Okay, so I was not expecting this much stuff to be under or behind the stove when I moved it. Look at my face, y'all. <laughs> it was pure shock. You literally don't realize how much stuff falls in between the crack between the counter and the stove. It was it was a mess. I'm just wiping my refrigerator down with a soapy towel just to get some of the food residue and sticky stuff off of the refrigerator, especially the handles. And now I'm going in with my Wayman stainless steel cleaner to clean and polish my refrigerator. to do a better job at cleaning all of my doors especially my doors in the kitchen well all of them actually they get like so dirty around like the knobs and where we're constantly touching them and so when I notice that I'm trying to 
clean them um, as I go along. So if you follow me on Instagram, you would know that my kids just completely destroyed the blinds on this door. So we decided to go to Home Depot and get this privacy film that you see on there. It, like, it lets light in and also creates privacy so people can look straight into your house and we absolutely love it. And that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.